This new building represents not only our vision of excellence in education for our students, but also our ability to come together and overcome immense challenges. Most of all, I'd like to acknowledge our students. This building is for them. Our students are the reason we are here today. Today marks an important day for EPCC's master planning process as we open another new building for our students. This is certainly an exciting milestone. Mission Del Paso is EPC's fastest growing campus. This state-of-the-art building will provide additional classroom space for all disciplines. This innovative flexitorium that we're in right now, um, which will accommodate everything from lectures to performances to guest speakers and other interactive learning and special events. This expansion has added approximately 60,000 additional square feet to this campus. And of course, it will provide students with much needed study and collaborative spaces. And that's important. What we are trying to do is make sure that our students come to state-of-the-art facilities, that we have uh, the equipment, the proper um, classroom sizes, everything that is needed for them to be successful and for our staff to be able to deliver the uh, high excellence and quality of instruction. And in 2018, I graduated with my PhD in geology and geophysics. I met my husband, Sam, at grad school, and we moved to California after graduating. We both work at the NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena. I'm employed as Applied Science Systems Engineer, where I use my science background and skill set to interface with both scientists and engineers as we work to send robotic space spacecraft to far off places in our solar system. It's been wonderful to reflect back on the winding path that allowed me to be here speaking to you today. And to those students who may be in the audience, each with your own set of challenges that you may face, I wish you all the best in your endeavors. You should be proud. I know that I'm proud and honored to be an alum of EPCC. This is my first semester at El Paso Community College. I am very proud to be here at EPCC, but what makes me even prouder is that my mother worked here at EPCC for four years. She's the one who has encouraged me to get an education. I'm only taking my basics for now, but I'm hoping to become a Border Patrol agent one day. I have also received much support from Mr. Segovia and Jesus, my tutors at the Center for Students with Disabilities. They have helped me so much since the semester started, and I feel very comfortable asking them for help because they are extremely kind and patient. This building is also equipped with most students' help centers and computer labs where students can complete their assignments. Every student here should be grateful and should take advantage of the opportunities that EPC offers them so that they can be successful in their careers. It's really inspiring for me to be here and hear the stories of the students um, and see how much they overcome to achieve their dreams. It, it really inspires me to want to keep helping them and as, as is, I love my job and just sharing what I do with, with people, but this, this moment really means a lot to me because it's brought us together to celebrate the growth of EPCC and helping our students. Is a health career in your future? At El Paso Community College, not only do we have the best health programs, but we can now start you off with a scholarship worth up to $2,500. Apply for the TRUE grant and begin in the summer 2022 semester. Call 915-831-7079 for information and get started in a fulfilling career in any one of many health fields. That's 915-831-7079. EPCC is the best place to start and finish.
so many were so involved and couldn't be done without each of you. Our faculty and staff are leaders in their respective fields and experts at what they do. I want to recognize the work of our faculty members who work each day at this campus to guide and help students reach their full potential. Our staff who support our students tirelessly while working to keep the campus running smoothly every day. And our students who are the reason that we're here. They are their, our inspiration and our future, and we want to ensure that we provide our students with the kind of facilities that you need to continue to change um, this community for the better, to continue to change our state as well as our nation. EPCC has helped me greatly, especially with the Cisco Lab. Um, I think that does do, do a great deal for us, as in it gives us the hands-on experience that we need. Um, rather than just listening in a lecture, you are able to apply that to what you learn in the Cisco Lab. And the joy of having this wonderful building will allow us to enhance our curriculum uh, for different and more innovative courses. We should have enough infrastructure to bring in artificial intelligence, more cybersecurity, and of course, add to our already big networking arena. So the third floor is an amazing floor where you can find not only from IT information technology all the way to computer science, cybersecurity, and we're running great, great programs there, including peer leading, uh, which is students assisting other students. We also have a research group, which is just brand new, and we have, uh, we're running a lot of um, topics in cybersecurity, intelligent computing, artificial intelligence, and data science in those research groups. So we're very, very happy and we're honored to have these great facilities where we're going to have a lot of plans for the future, including great speakers to come here and give us uh, or helping us to create uh, great environments, including hackathons, datathons, and collaborations with the two year and four year institutions. And EPCC offers a lot of different programs. I recently just applied for another scholarship, which is the um, foundational scholarship, so that can really help with my tuition. Um, and overall, the facilities, campus, everything is great. There's a now this AST building, and you have science and technology. So all the science majors have all these help and facilities to help them with their education for their, their career. This awesome building and it's going to help a lot of students learn so many things. It's not only the building but it's everybody else that's really excited to be here. My co-workers, you know, the teachers that are here and I know that every student that comes here will be able to leave knowing so much ready for a four-year university. Um, EPCC does an amazing job in preparing every student once you come in and once you get out, you'll be able to, you know, just know what you're supposed to in order to get to either UTEP, you know, it prepares you very, very well. And things like these, like building these buildings, you know, like taking the time for the students, thinking of them, that's all for the, all these students that are coming in. First of all, I would like to welcome everyone to the new building, the Arts, Science and Technology Building here at EPCC, where you can find just down the hall, AST 161, which is our new music classroom. Come check us out. My name is Dr. Melissa Gurrola, co-coordinator and music instructor at El Paso Community College. Did you know that EPCC has had a music department for over 50 years? In 1970, Dr. Lucy Scarborough recruited her first student by handing out flyers to people standing in line waiting to register for classes. This is how the music department at EPCC started. Little by little, she continued her work with EPCC and began to grow the music department. Our department currently offers music majors the opportunity to fulfill the first two years of a bachelor's degree and non-music majors who wish to enrich their lives by practicing the fine arts classes for their degree plan. Our department has a lot to offer with seven different ensemble classes, including Concert Band and Percussion, directed by Mr. Irving Guayar, String Orchestra, directed by Dr. Alina Vasquez, Guitar Ensemble, directed by Mr. Armin Harrison, Jazz Band, directed by Mr. Ruben Gutierrez, and Chorus, directed by myself, Dr. Gurrola. 
We also offer applied individual lessons in any instrument, courses in music theory one through four, music literature, music appreciation, American music, and MIDI one and two. If you are interested in becoming a music major or are interested in learning how to play an instrument, EPCC Music is the place for you. For more information, contact me, Dr. Melissa Gurola, at 915-355-4177 or Dr. Yasmin Flores at 515-779-3199 or by email at mguro11 at epcc.edu or yflore14 at epcc.edu. Thank you and we look forward to seeing you in the fall. When you're stressed and things are uncertain, it's hard to think about the future. We get that. 
take small steps. Enroll in a course or two at El Paso Community College. With the lowest tuition in the region and financial aid for those who qualify, you can take classes in our brand new buildings at low or no cost. With a degree from EPCC, you'll be on the path to your best life. Because college is worth it. And so are you. at EPCC is where your story comes alive on the stage. Offering introductory theater classes, including acting, script analysis, stagecraft, and even practical backstage training. These, along with a season of exciting live productions at the Forum Theater, give you the best place to start your theatrical journey. So come, work with us. Theater Arts at the El Paso Community College is where your entertainment life begins. El Paso Community College has five campuses and two centers around the El Paso area with new buildings and state-of-the-art classrooms. With more than 130 programs, EPCC can assist you in all your career goals by earning an associate's degree or a workforce certificate. Face-to-face, -face, hybrid, and online classes are available. More information is available at www.epcc.edu. Come join us.
This new building represents not only our vision of excellence in education for our students, but also our ability to come together and overcome immense challenges. Most of all, I'd like to acknowledge our students. This building is for them. Our students are the reason we are here today. Today marks an important day for EPCC's master planning process as we open another new building for our students. This is certainly an exciting milestone. Mission Del Paso is EPC's fastest growing campus. This state-of-the-art building will provide additional classroom space for all disciplines. This innovative flexitorium that we're in right now, um, which will accommodate everything from lectures to performances to guest speakers and other interactive learning and special events. This expansion has added approximately 60,000 additional square feet to this campus. And of course, it will provide students with much needed study and collaborative spaces. And that's important. What we are trying to do is make sure that our students come to state-of-the-art facilities, that we have uh, the equipment, the proper um, classroom sizes, everything that is needed for them to be successful and for our staff to be able to deliver the uh, high excellence and quality of instruction. And in 2018, I graduated with my PhD in geology and geophysics. I met my husband, Sam, at grad school, and we moved to California after graduating. We both work at the NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena. I'm employed as an applied science systems engineer where I use my science background and skill set to interface with both scientists and engineers as we work to send robotic space spacecraft to far off places in our solar system. It's been wonderful to reflect back on the winding path that allowed me to be here speaking to you today. And to those students who may be in the audience, each with your own set of challenges that you may face, I wish you all the best in your endeavors. You should be proud. I know that I'm proud and honored to be an alum of EPCC. This is my first semester at El Paso Community College. I am very proud to be here at EPCC, but what makes me even prouder is that my mother worked here at EPCC for four years. She's the one who has encouraged me to get an education. I'm only taking my basics for now, but I'm hoping to become a Border Patrol agent one day. I have also received much support from Mr. Segovia and Jesus, my tutors at the Center for Students with Disabilities. They have helped me so much since the semester started, and I feel very comfortable asking them for help because they are extremely kind and patient. This building is also equipped with most students' help centers and computer labs where students can complete their assignments. Every student here should be grateful and should take advantage of the opportunities that EPC offers them so that they can be successful in their careers. It's really inspiring for me to be here and hear the stories of the students um, and see how much they overcome to achieve their dreams. It, it really inspires me to want to keep helping them and. As, as is, I love my job and just sharing what I do with, with people, but this, this moment really means a lot to me because it's brought us together to celebrate the growth of EPCC and helping our students. Is a health career in your future? At El Paso Community College, not only do we have the best health programs, but we can now start you off with a scholarship worth up to $2,500. Apply for the TRUE grant and begin in the summer 2022 semester. Call 915-831-7079 for information and get started in a fulfilling career in any one of many health fields. That's 915-831-7079. EPCC is the best place to start and finish.
And so many were so involved and it couldn't be done without each of you. Our faculty and staff are leaders in their respective fields and experts at what they do. I want to recognize the work of our faculty members who work each day at this campus to guide and help students reach their full potential. Our staff who support our students tirelessly while working to keep the campus running smoothly every day. And our students who are the reason that we're here. They are their, our inspiration and our future, and we want to ensure that we provide our students with the kind of facilities that you need to continue to change um, this community for the better, to continue to change our state as well as our nation. EPCC has helped me greatly, especially with the Cisco Lab. Um, I think that does do, do a great deal for us, as in it gives us the hands-on experience that we need. Um, rather than just listening in a lecture, you are able to apply that to what you learn in the Cisco Lab. And the joy of having this wonderful building will allow us to enhance our curriculum uh, for different and more innovative courses. We should have enough infrastructure to bring in artificial intelligence, more cybersecurity, and of course, add to our already big networking arena. So the third floor is an amazing floor where you can find not only from IT information technology all the way to computer science, cybersecurity, and we're running great, great programs there, including peer leading, uh, which is students assisting other students. We also have a research group, which is just brand new, and we have, uh, we're running a lot of um, topics in cybersecurity, intelligent computing, artificial intelligence, and data science in those research groups. So we're very, very happy and we're honored to have these great facilities where we're going to have a lot of plans for the future, including great speakers to come here and give us uh, or helping us to create uh, great environments, including hackathons, datathons, and collaborations with the two year and four year institutions. And EPCC offers a lot of different programs. I recently just applied for another scholarship, which is the um, foundational scholarship, so that can really help with my tuition. Um, and overall, the facilities, campus, everything is great. There's a now this AST building, and you have science and technology. So all the science majors have all these help and facilities to help them with their education for their, their career. This awesome building and it's going to help a lot of students learn so many things. It's not only the building but it's everybody else that's really excited to be here. My co-workers, you know, the teachers that are here and I know that every student that comes here will be able to leave knowing so much ready for a four-year university. Um, EPCC does an amazing job in preparing every student once you come in and once you get out, you'll be able to, you know, just know what you're supposed to in order to get to either UTEP, you know, it prepares you very, very well. And things like these, like building these buildings, you know, like taking the time for the students, thinking of them, that's all for the, all these students that are coming in. First of all, I would like to welcome everyone to the new building, the Arts, Science and Technology Building here at EPCC, where you can find just down the hall AST 161, which is our new music classroom. Come check us out. My name is Dr. Melissa Gurrola, co-coordinator and music instructor at El Paso Community College. Did you know that EPCC has had a music department for over 50 years? In 1970, Dr. Lucy Scarborough recruited her first student by handing out flyers to people standing in line waiting to register for classes. This is how the music department at EPCC started. Little by little, she continued her work with EPCC and began to grow the music department. Our department currently offers music majors the opportunity to fulfill the first two years of a bachelor's degree and non-music majors who wish to enrich their lives by practicing the fine arts classes for their degree plan. Our department has a lot to offer with seven different ensemble classes, including Concert Band and Percussion, directed by Mr. Irving Guayar, String Orchestra, 
directed by Dr. Alina Vasquez, guitar ensemble, directed by Mr. Armin Harrison, jazz band, directed by Mr. Ruben Gutierrez, and chorus, directed by myself, Dr. Gurola. We also offer applied individual lessons in any instrument, courses in music theory one through four, music literature, music appreciation, American music, and MIDI one and two. If you are interested in becoming a music major or are interested in learning how to play an instrument, EPCC Music is the place for you. For more information, contact me, Dr. Melissa Gurola, at 915-355-417. How to evacuate the Don Haskins Center. Be like Pete and head to the nearest aisle. Proceed to the closest exit. Walk to ground level and exit. Once outside, walk as far away as possible. In case of an emergency, follow instructions from ushers and security staff. Help those who need your assistance. Above all, keep cool and exit in an orderly manner.
This new building represents not only our vision of excellence in education for our students, but also our ability to come together and overcome immense challenges. Most of all, I'd like to acknowledge our students. This building is for them. Our students are the reason we are here today. Today marks an important day for EPCC's master planning process as we open another new building for our students. This is certainly an exciting milestone. Mission Del Paso is EPC's fastest growing campus. This state-of-the-art building will provide additional classroom space for all disciplines. This innovative flexitorium that we're in right now, um, which will accommodate everything from lectures to performances to guest speakers and other interactive learning and special events. This expansion has added approximately 60,000 additional square feet to this campus. And of course, it will provide students with much needed study and collaborative spaces. And that's important. What we are trying to do is make sure that our students come to state-of-the-art facilities, that we have uh, the equipment, the proper um, classroom sizes, everything that is needed for them to be successful and for our staff to be able to deliver the uh, high excellence and quality of instruction. And in 2018, I graduated with my PhD in geology and geophysics. I met my husband, Sam, at grad school, and we moved to California after graduating. We both work at the NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena. I'm employed as an applied science systems engineer where I use my science background and skill set to interface with both scientists and engineers as we work to send robotic space spacecraft to far off places in our solar system. It's been wonderful to reflect back on the winding path that allowed me to be here speaking to you today. And to those students who may be in the audience, each with your own set of challenges that you may face, I wish you all the best in your endeavors. You should be proud. I know that I'm proud and honored to be an alum of EPCC. This is my first semester at El Paso Community College. I am very proud to be here at EPCC, but what makes me even prouder is that my mother worked here at EPCC for four years. She's the one who has encouraged me to get an education. I'm only taking my basics for now, but I'm hoping to become a Border Patrol agent one day. I have also received much support from Mr. Segovia and Jesus, my tutors at the Center for Students with Disabilities. They have helped me so much since the semester started, and I feel very comfortable asking them for help because they are extremely kind and patient. This building is also equipped with most students' help centers and computer labs where students can complete their assignments. Every student here should be grateful and should take advantage of the opportunities that EPC offers them so that they can be successful in their careers. It's really inspiring for me to be here and hear the stories of the students um, and see how much they overcome to achieve their dreams. It, it really inspires me to want to keep helping them and as, as is, I love my job and just sharing what I do with, with people, but this, this moment really means a lot to me because it's brought us together to celebrate the growth of EPCC and helping our students. Is a health career in your future? At El Paso Community College, not only do we have the best health programs, but we can now start you off with a scholarship worth up to $2,500. Apply for the TRUE grant and begin in the summer 2022 semester. Call 915-831-7079 for information and get started in a fulfilling career in any one of many health fields. That's 915-831-7079. EPCC is the best place to start and finish.
And so many were so involved and couldn't be done without each of you. Our faculty and staff are leaders in their respective fields and experts at what they do. I want to recognize the work of our faculty members who work each day at this campus to guide and help students reach their full potential. Our staff who support our students tirelessly while working to keep the campus running smoothly every day. And our students who are the reason that we're here. They are their, our inspiration and our future, and we want to ensure that we provide our students with the kind of facilities that you need to continue to change um, this community for the better, to continue to change our state as well as our nation. EPCC has helped me greatly, especially with the Cisco Lab. Um, I think that does do, do a great deal for us, as in it gives us the hands-on experience that we need. Um, rather than just listening in a lecture, you are able to apply that to what you learn in the Cisco Lab. And the joy of having this wonderful building will allow us to enhance our curriculum uh, for different and more innovative courses. We should have enough infrastructure to bring in artificial intelligence, more cybersecurity, and of course, add to our already big networking arena. So the third floor is an amazing floor where you can find not only from IT information technology all the way to computer science, cybersecurity, and we're running great, great programs there, including peer leading, uh, which is students assisting other students. We also have a research group, which is just brand new, and we have, uh, we're running a lot of um, topics in cybersecurity, intelligent computing, artificial intelligence, data science in those research groups. So we're very, very happy and we're honored to have these great facilities where we're going to have a lot of plans for the future, including great speakers to come here and give us uh, or helping us to create uh, great environments, including hackathons, datathons, and collaborations with the two year and four year institutions. And EPCC offers a lot of different programs. I recently just applied for another scholarship, which is the um, foundational scholarship, so that can really help with my tuition. Um, and overall, the facilities, campus, everything is great. There's a now this AST building, and you have science and technology. So all the science majors have all these help and facilities to help them with their education for their, their career. This awesome building and it's going to help a lot of students learn so many things. It's not only the building but it's everybody else that's really excited to be here. My coworkers, you know, the teachers that are here and I know that every student that comes here will be able to leave knowing so much ready for a four-year university. Um, EPCC does an amazing job in preparing every student once you come in and once you get out, you'll be able to, you know, just know what you're supposed to in order to get to either UTEP, you know, it prepares you very, very well. And things like these, like building these buildings, you know, like taking the time for the students, thinking of them, that's all for the, all these students that are coming in. First of all, I would like to welcome everyone to the new building, the Arts, Science and Technology Building here at EPCC, where you can find just down the hall, AST 161, which is our new music classroom. Come check us out. My name is Dr. Melissa Gurrola, co-coordinator and music instructor at El Paso Community College. Did you know that EPCC has had a music department for over 50 years? In 1970, Dr. Lucy Scarborough recruited her first student by handing out flyers to people standing in line waiting to register for classes. This is how the music department at EPCC started. Little by little, she continued her work with EPCC and began to grow the music department. Our department currently offers music majors the opportunity to fulfill the first two years of a bachelor's degree and non-music majors who wish to enrich their lives by practicing the fine arts classes for their degree plan. Our department has a lot to offer with seven different ensemble classes, including Concert Band and Percussion, directed by Mr. Irving Guayar, String Orchestra, 
directed by Dr. Alina Vasquez, guitar ensemble directed by Mr. Armin Harrison, jazz band directed by Mr. Ruben Gutierrez, and chorus directed by myself, Dr. Gurola. We also offer applied individual lessons in any instrument, courses in music theory one through four, music literature, music appreciation, American music, and MIDI one and two. If you are interested in becoming a music major or are interested in learning how to play an instrument, EPCC Music is the place for you. For more information, contact me, Dr. Melissa Gurola, at 915-355-4177 or Dr. Yasmin Flores at 515-779-3199 or by email at mguro11 at e
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am William Serrata, and I have the privilege to serve as president of El Paso Community College. Welcome to our spring 2022 El Paso Community College commencement exercise. Buenas noches, damas y caballeros. Bienvenidos a los ceremonia de graduación de la primera vez 2022 de El Paso Community College. Please remain standing for the national anthem. Congratulations to all of our graduates on your well-deserved success. We're also incredibly proud of each of you. Celebrating with your friends and family as you cross the stage and receive your diploma will become a cherished memory. As we celebrate your hard work, I ask that we also reflect on the many sacrifices that made today possible, as well as on the prosperous future of our graduates who have earned their degrees and who will soon embark on the next stage of life's journey. I also ask that today and every day, we acknowledge and remain thankful for the, gift, the many gifts bestowed upon us, including the gift of intellect, goals met, the support of family and friends, mentors, and a society that encourages education. We would like to take this moment to honor those that are no longer with us and have passed away this last year. The empty seat below represents the chair they would have sat in. Please join me for a moment of silence to honor and remember. Thank you, please be seated. For more than 50 years, El Paso Community College has served our community by providing access to affordable and high quality education, training our region's workforce, and preparing the leaders of tomorrow. We could not do this without a visionary board of trustees. It is my pleasure to thank and introduce the El Paso Community College Board of Trustees. Judge Brian Haggerty, Chair of the Board. Dr. Carmen Olivas Graham, Vice Chair of the Board. Ms. Cristina Sanchez, Secretary of the Board. Ms. Bonnie Soria Nahira, Trustee. Mrs. Belen Robles, Trustee. Ms. Nina Pina, Trustee. And Mr. John Uxer, Jr., Trustee. Also present on the stage are Dr. Roberto Coronado, our keynote speaker who will be formally introduced later in the ceremony. Dr. Carlos Amaya, Interim Vice President of Student and Enrollment Services. <laughs> Mr. Marco Fernandez, Interim Associate Vice President for Information Technology. Dr. Julie Penley, Vice President of Research, Accreditation and Planning. Ms. Josette Shaughnessy, Vice President of Administration and Financial Operations. Dr. Steve Smith, Vice President of Instruction and Workforce Education. Dr. Albert Burnham, Faculty Association President. Ms. Cristina Navarro, Student Government Association President. Dr. Cassandra Lachica Chavez, Executive Director of Admissions and Registrar. 
I ask that members of El Paso Community College's administrative team stand and be recognized. Thank you. Would our team of early college high school principals and staff also please stand? Thank you all. It is my honor to recognize the Grand Marshal of the commencement ceremony, Ms. Manuela Gomez, who is honored with the privilege of escorting the college mace for this commencement ceremony. Ms. Gomez, congratulations. <laughs> Representing the staff constituency group is Ms. Grace Erives, President of the Professional Staff Association, and Evangelina Rangel, Vice President of the Classified Staff Association. Thank you both. I would also like to acknowledge the faculty and staff members from the institution that are present. <laughs> Joining us today as special guests include John Fitzpatrick, Executive Director of Educate Texas. Thank you. <laughs> Dr. Coronel's family, his wife and three boys, thank you all for being here. Dr. Ver Veronica Virgil, Superintendent of Fabens Independent School District. <laughs> Dr. Juan Martinez, Superintendent at Clint Independent School District. <laughs> James Littlejohn, Clint ISD Assistant Superintendent. Thank you all and all of our ISDs for the great partnership. Today we honor nearly 2,000 graduates, including many from our 18 early college high schools. Absolutely. El Paso Community College is very proud of the long and historic relationship we have with our, with our military and Fort Bliss. We acknowledge with pride and gratitude veterans of our armed forces and those currently serving our country in the military. Will graduates that are currently serving our country, as well as those of you who are veterans, please stand to receive our thanks and appreciation. Thank you for your service. Now it gives me great pleasure to recognize those students graduating with outstanding academic records. Will those students graduating with a grade point average of 3.25 or higher please stand? Please remain standing if your GPA is a 3.5 or higher. I ask those with a grade point average of 3.75 or higher to remain standing. Remain standing if you had a 4.0 grade point average. That means all A's, congratulations and well done. Congratulations to all of you. College graduation is a milestone that few reach. I know that for many of today's graduates, you are the first in your family to reach this benchmark, and yet we know that a college degree or certificate is nearly universally required to ensure a pathway to the middle class. This is a significant accomplishment. You are a role model, and we hope that you encourage others in your family to follow in your path, becoming the first of many in your family to graduate from college. It is now my honor to introduce our keynote speaker. Dr. Roberto Coronado is Senior Vice President in charge of the Dallas Federal Reserve Bank's San Antonio and El Paso branches. He also oversees law enforcement functions, government relations, and economic education programs across all offices of the 11th Federal Reserve District. He is a senior economist and a member of the regional group of the bank's research department. In that capacity, he provides regional input into the Dallas Fed's monetary policy process and is responsible for monitoring and tracking economic and business activity in West, Central, and South Texas, as well as Southern New Mexico. Dr. Coronado's research focuses on issues pertaining to the Mexican economy, 
U.S.-Mexico economic integration and border issues. Dr. Coronado has written articles for various Federal Reserve publications and academic journals in both the United States and Mexico. He serves as the director for the Texas Lyceum and as a board member for Texas 2036, the El Paso Collaborative for Academic Excellence, and the El Paso Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. Dr. Coronado earned his PhD in economics from the University of Houston and holds a BBA in accounting and economics and an MS in economics from the University of Texas at El Paso. Please help me welcome Dr. Roberto Coronado. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, faculty, staff, family members, and of course, graduates. I would like to begin by thanking President Serrata and the Board of Trustees for giving me the wonderful opportunity to share this monumental moment with all of you. And to also share it with your family and friends who are here surrounding you and giving you the support that they've been doing that for the past several months, perhaps several years throughout your journey. Muy buenas noches. Quiero dar las gracias al Dr. Serrata por permitirme la oportunidad de compartir con ustedes este tu momento tan especial, sobre todo para los graduandos, pero también para sus familias y amigos que los han apoyado a lo largo de sus estudios. Today represents a culmination of years of learning, hours of studying, and very possibly thousands and thousands of cups of coffee. The road to your graduation has been unique. You have had to deal with an added challenging challenge of making your way through community college that has, quite frankly, looked very different from generations before you. Now, at the end of this chapter in your life, the world is actually turning around, and we're trying to learn how to live in a post-pandemic world. We are in a phenomenal milestone as we are able to celebrate with all of you in person today, but this is only feasible due to the great sacrifices, hard work of our frontline workers and scientists across this community and across the country. Many of you are going to pursue those footsteps and many of you may become and will become frontline workers and scientists. All of us have certainly benefited from their sacrifices, their perseverance, and of course the passion. I would like to take this moment for all of you in the audience who are frontline workers, servicemen and women, would you please stand up so that we can thank you and acknowledge you for all your uh, service and the hard work. <laughs> when you all enrolled at El Paso Community College, you made a decision to invest in yourself and invest in your future. The degree and certificates you're going to be receiving here in a moment are not, not going to only impact your life, but those around you, particularly your families. This, is, this moment is not the end of your journey. I know all of you have been looking toward this moment, but I'm afraid that this is just the beginning of a new journey. But this moment will set the foundation for a future that is very bright and, quite frankly, in my opinion, is without uh, with, with no uh, end in possibilities. After today, some of you will continue with your education. Others will go back to the workforce. Some of you will go and get different careers and, and try to find different career paths. Regardless of where you go from here, it is important for all of you to know that your education does not end when you walk through the stage in a moment. Being a lifelong learner is more critical than ever in today's economy. Let me emphasize that again. Being a lifelong learner is more critical than ever. Reskilling, retraining, and a commitment to always keep learning are critical to ensure that people like you and me can find meaningful work and can keep, can keep up with evolving economy. Today, we're gathered to celebrate you and the bright future that you promise our community. You are the leaders of tomorrow, and I would like to ask you, or if I may, I would like to challenge you, all of you, 
to please help, help us find solutions to the most important issues that we are facing today. You can do that by being engaged citizens in our community. At the Dallas Fed, we're committed to building a strong economy and an inclusive economy that creates opportunity for everyone. We know that many face entrenched barriers that can limit equitable access to quality of education, medical care, career opportunities, and more. These fundamental barriers to success require the collaboration of all of us in this room. We need to come together, we need to leverage our resources, more importantly, our ideas, so that we can make progress and keep gaining momentum. The environment we live in forces us to become lifelong learners, to be curious, and to continue to develop and reshape our skill sets for the months and years ahead, so that we can all benefit from this changing economy. If we constantly work to challenge and better ourselves, we will continue to motivate others, your family and friends around here, and they in turn will go ahead and motivate others in turn. This is how we create change, this is how we leave our mark, and this is how we make our community better. Like all of you, my journey began at El Paso Community College. So allow me to tell you a little bit about my journey. Growing up in Juarez, it was important to my parents that myself and my brothers learned English. So when I was little, 10 or 12, every Saturday morning, my brothers and I will head north to El Paso to the Valle Verde campus to take ESL classes. This is while my friends were either sleeping in or playing. As I was looking back and trying to reflect on what can I share with you this evening, I went back to those days and remember, you know, that the sacrifice, the discipline, the commitment that my parents uh, instilled in me and my brothers has really paid off dividends because that allowed me to eventually come to UTEP and be able to earn and my degree. I don't know about you, but as far as me, all the success, and what I mean all the success that I've been able to accomplish thus far, it's because of the love, the support, the encouragement of my family and friends. And as Dr. Serrata introduced, my, my beautiful wife, my children are here, and they are the ones who keep pushing me, they are the ones who keep motivating me and inspiring me, just like everyone else around here for all of you. So growing up, my father was an accountant, and so he thought that I would be following his footsteps, of course, right? Well, I was a little bit of a rebel and decided to go in a different field, the field of economics. Despite my best intentions, I found myself, while going to college, in the need of taking an accounting class. So I turned back to EPCC, went and took that accounting class. And I might say that with a little bit of time, I start finding myself softening to the idea that I actually like accounting. Of course, my father, my, my father will take the credit, and he will tell me, see, I told you so, you gotta be an accountant. But the truth is, it was my professor at EPCC who made the difference. Estoy seguro que a mi papá le encantaría decir que estudié contabilidad gracias a él, pero la realidad es que mi profesor hizo que la materia fuera para mí interesante, que me motivara, que fuera fácil y que fuera divertida. My professor broke through me and made accounting easy and fun. I saw firsthand in that classroom how accounting gives you the language of how businesses work and operate. As soon as I finished that class, I went and changed my major to economics and accounting. Por supuesto, mi padre se puso muy feliz. After I graduated from UTEP and I was working full time at the Federal Reserve, I decided that it was time for me to go back to grad school but I needed to take a lot of math and a lot of statistics classes. So I remember my days at EPCC, and I said, 
why not? I probably should go back to EPCC and take those math and statistics classes because I knew that they will give me the flexibility because I was a full-time uh, employee, but they will give me the rigor and the foundation to learn the skills that will help me to be successful in grad school. So I did so. Like many of you in here, which I know very well that you know firsthand the difficulties of working full-time while taking class at night, taking care of family members all day, and working on homework well into the late evening. Those late nights and the struggles of all of you trying to balance all of that will be worth it in the end. And I mean it, will be worth it in the end. The knowledge and skills that you've gained in your time at EPCC will prepare you, have prepared you for success. Just as they helped me to prepare and open a number of different doors and to allow me to go into grad school and complete my PhD at the University of Houston. 20 years ago, I joined the Dallas Fed as an intern. Looking back, I can see those first ESL classes on Saturday morning. I can remember how that dreaded accounting class that I told you about. Those late nights working on my equations for my math classes and homeworks. But all of that allowed me to be on this path and open a lot of doors for me that allowed me to land my first full-time role at the Fed and quite frankly has been able to have a career of about 20 years. But more importantly, and I do this with a lot of uh, very being humble, have allowed me the opportunity to stand before you and be your commencement speaker. El Paso Community College, and I'll have to disagree a little bit in here with President Serrata, to me is not only the place to start and finish, but to me is far beyond that. To me, El Paso Community College is a place where you can always go back and continue to learn. As you cross the stage later today, regardless of your plans for tomorrow, well, let's be honest, we know what you're doing tonight and tomorrow, you're celebrating. <laughs> regardless of your plan for Monday, let's put it that way, remember that this is not the final stage. This is just a stepping stone into a future, like I mentioned to you, with endless possibilities and a very bright future. When people are not asking me questions like, how's the economy doing? And what's going on with inflation? Which, by the way, I just had a conversation with Judge Haggerty about it before going onto stage. Sometimes people ask me, so Roberto, what is your secret to success? And my answer is very simple. Being a lifelong learner. Why is that? To me, it is because it's not, not only going to set you up for success, but it's going to make you a well-rounded individual. You must never stop learning and seeking out opportunities to continue to grow and enhance your skill set. Your graduation today is an incredible, incredible accomplishment. And I know firsthand that your family and friends all around the Don Haskins centers are extremely proud and inspired by your determination. As you celebrate tonight, I will ask you a favor. As you celebrate tonight, look into the beautiful star on the mountain. Today, that star is going to be lit in your honor, in recognition of your tremendous achievement. Quite frankly, you are the shining stars in our community that are promising us a very bright future in the years to come. Gandhi once said, live as if you were to die tomorrow, learn as if you were to live forever. Your dedication and tenacity have gotten you to this point, but don't stop here. Keep learning, keep pushing yourself and pushing yourself, and you'll be amazed of how much you can accomplish. As you embark on your next chapter, I hope that you remember and carry the strong sense of pride and purpose that I saw you with as you were walking into this room today. Remember that. You'll need that every time you go into the different roles and the dif different opportunities down the line. Muchas felicidades a todos los graduandos. Les deseo mucha suerte. 
pero sobre todo, mucho éxito. Congratulations, class of 2022. Thank you for those inspirational words, Dr. Coronado. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, it is my pleasure to confer on you the award of Honorary Associate of Arts degree. It reads as follows. Be it known that Dr. Roberto Coronado, nationally recognized economist with expertise on US-Mexico economic integration and border issues, committed to the prosperity of the borderland, advocate for higher education and role model for our community is hereby awarded the degree of honorary associate of arts and is entitled to all of the rights and privileges appertaining to that degree in testimony whereof the board of trustees has granted this diploma bearing the seal of the college done this 13th day of may 2022. Now, Chair of the Board of Trustees, Judge Brian Haggerty, will join us and present you with the stole signifying a tradition as an honorary graduate of El Paso Community College. The stole was designed by retired EPCC fashion technology faculty member, Ms. Trish Winstead, and is dedicated to the memory of Eugene Pate, the former interior design faculty member. The tradition of faculty sewing the stole continues, and this stole was, was made by Ms. Carol New. With the award of the Honorary Associate of Arts degree, El Paso Community College is establishing the Dr. Roberto Coronel Endowed Scholarship Fund and designating $25,000 for that purpose. This will allow EPCC students for generations to come to benefit from your legacy as a true economic and educational leader and role model. Dr. Coronel, we value your friendship and we thank you for your service to our community. Dr. Steve Smith, Vice President of Instruction and Workforce Education, will now present the candidates for their degrees. Will the candidates please rise? <laughs> Dr. Serrata, Board of Trustees, I would like to present the candidates for the degrees of Associate of Arts and Associate of Arts in Teaching. On the recommendation of the faculty and the authority vested in me by both the State of Texas and our Board of Trustees, I confer on each of you your degree. Students, please shift your tassels to the other side and be seated. Will the marshals please escort the students to the platform? Fernanda Acosta. Juliana Alexis Acosta. Brittany Desiree Acosta Flores. Nin Acuña. 
Isabella Agüero. Nicholas Anthony Aguilar. Javier Aguirre. Jimmy Aguirre. Leslie Ann Aguirre. Miriam Aguirre. Erica Iliana Aguirre Cuevas. Hamad Faud Algil. Alondra Ruby Alamillo. Miguel Gabaldón. Alejandra Acosta Aguirre. Samuel Acevedo. Alondra Guadalupe Acosta. Lily Midori Acata. Hope Giovanni Alaniz. Brian M. Albarran. Stephanie Alejandre. Celeste Ayen. Aileen Lazara Ruby Alonso. Frida Sofía Alonso. Ana Karen Alvarado. Jair Alejandro Alvarado. Jennifer Valeria Alvarado. José Antonio Alvarado. Natalie, Natalie Yvette Alvarado. Oscar Antonio Alvarado. Adali Alvarez. Arturo Álvarez. Selina Bianca Álvarez. Aarón Alonso Amaya. Adrian Andrade. Suhey Ángel. Victoria Andrea Ansalmo. Chateonar Aponte Díaz. Zulet Yanaí Aragón. Adonica Rey Arenas. Jacqueline Argumedo. Ángel Andrés Arias Abde Abeldano. Emily Arista. Ivan Armenta. Miriana Ariola. Cristina Arroyo. Kishana Avenant. Daniel Alejandro Avila. Edgar E. Avila Jr. 
Roxana Vadillo. Ricky Baeza. Karen Anaís Valderas. Roberto Andrés Barajas. Elizabeth Barragán. Elin Barraza. Christina Marie Barraza. Ivan Alejandro Barraza. Noemi Barraza. Samantha Emily Barraza. Erin Nicole Barrientos. Misael Barrón. Paola Barrón. Victoria Desiree Becerra. Jared James Lee Beck. Lainey Simone Bejerano. Emilio Bernal. Enya Bernal. Ángela Soledad Berrumen. Paola Blanco. Paola Lisbeth Bonilla Ortiz. April Brennan Borjón. Natalie Nicole Borrego. Abigail Jolie Bustamante. Joshua James Butterfield. Abigail Calderon. Vanessa Calderon. Mason R. Calvert. Samantha Calvert. Hannah May Campos. Idali Campos. Isabella Marie Candelaria. Christian Armando Carvajal. Sandy Lorraine Carvajal. Eric Alberto Cárdenas. Marcos Cárdenas. Judith Annette Cardona. Erica Cardoso. Damien Alexander Carranza. Adriel Monique Carrasco. Brianna A. Carrillo. Debbie Castaneda.
Karina Castaneda. Joanna Daniela Castillo. Marisol Itzel Castillo. Rachel Castillo. Ángel Gabriel Casterone. Andrew Castro. Tamara Danielle Castro. Maya Karina Cavazos. Valeria Cázares. Brian Anthony Ceballos. Melanie Cisneros Silva. Karen Centeno. Nayeli Cerrillo. Alejandra Chacón. Paris Chacón. Dulce Estela Chaires Parra. Jessica Chaparro. Ariana Marie Chavez. Alexa Itzel Chavez. Andrés Chavez. Anika Bella Chavez. Arika Bella Chavez. Delilah Grace Chavez. Gabriel Eileen Chavez. Marisa Danel Chavez. Tori Christie. Victor Rene Chuka. Caitlin Amanda Cifuentes. Stephanie Marie Cifuentes. Derek Jair Cisneros. Fátima Carolina Cobos. Kevin Efren Contreras. Jasmine Cordova. Sarah Rene Corral. Valerie Corrujedo. Gabriela M. Cortez. Cassandra Cortez. Arlene Cuborribias. Aaron Cruz. Cynthia M. Cruz. Gerardo Cruz. Luis Alfonso Cruz. Priscilla Andrea Cruz. 
Yelin Cruz. Abraham Cuevas. Danielle Audrey Darbonor. Christina Nicole Davis. Itzel de la Cruz. Kevin de la Cruz. Valeria del Campo. Marlene del Toro. Jasmine de la Rosa. Abigail Nicole Delgado. Abril Delgado Quintana. Amaris Alexandra Delgado. Sí, Lali Paloma Delgado. Francisco Delgado. Karina Delgado. Jacob Ray de Santos. Jacqueline Díaz de León. Jackie Díaz. Valeria Fernanda Domínguez Cordero. Daniel Domínguez. Diana L. Domínguez. Paloma Daniela Domínguez. Paola J. Dorado Grove. Ivan Dorantes. Jacqueline Dozo. Thomas Drake. Saren Baleen Duarte. Sydney Isabel Duarte. Anthony Michael Dunn Anderson. Marina Duran. Nayeli Duran. Naomi Elizabeth Elizando. Destiny Yvette Enriquez. Maria Fernanda Enriquez. Raimundo Enriquez Romero. Teresa Giovanni Escobedo Carrillo. Cassandra Nicole Espinosa. Viridiana I. Espinosa. Alexis Esquivel. Daniela Esquivel Castro. Adelina Lorena Estrada. César Antonio Estrada.
Jacqueline Estrada. Crystal Arlen Estupinan. Natalia Facio. Alec Douglas Fairbex. Andrea Favela. Jennifer Marie Federico. Alexa Marie Flores. Jennifer Rebecca Flores. Caitlin Diane Flores. Nancy Adelini Flores. Gianni Fragoso. Amber Rose Francic. Anna Giselle Franco Escobedo. Noah Jacob Franco. Paola Zuea Fuentes. Brisa Galindo. Samantha Galindo Carvajal. Daira Yanel Gallegos. Brisa Denise Calvan. Damien Galvan. Belinda Yvette Gamboa. Edric Gomez. Abigail Garcia. Amelia Noemi Garcia. Areli E. Garcia. Ariana Garcia. Gabriel Jesus de la O. Kathy Rose Garcia. Christopher Garcia. Desiree Garcia. Isabel Garcia. Karina Rose Garcia. Mario Antonio Garcia. Michael Garcia. Yasmin Garcia. Diana Garcia Najera. Andre D. Cardea. Diana Ruby Cardea. Nicole Enid Garner. Joshua Asael Delgado. Aliyah Jordan Garnett.
Carla Yvonne Garza Herrera. Isabel Gates. Belen Gomez. Jennifer Odalis Gomez. Luis Mario Gomez. Ángel Gabriel González. Lyric Olivia González. Alexander González. Bailey Brianna González. Eunice Edri González García. Isel Elena González. Jake Mason Gonzalez. Jasmine Alexandria Gonzalez. Joshua Gonzalez. Joshua Enrique Gonzalez. Judith Gonzalez. <coughs> Viridiana Gonzalez. Vivian Gonzalez. Lionel Granados. Rebecca Nicole Green. Amanda Nicole Griffin. Rose Grove. Jennifer Marie Wedeke. Jacob Emanuel Guerra. Itzel Adriana Guillén. Amanda Gutierrez. Brianna F. Gutierrez. Eric Fernando Gutierrez. Kevin Gutierrez. Caleb Guzman. Catherine Vanessa Guzman. Anna Camille. Haney. Paulina Herbert. Leila Hermosillo. Andres Gerardo Hernandez. Michelle Estrada. Cindy Lizeth Hernandez. David Anthony Hernandez. Emily Hope Hernandez. 
Jasmine Marie Hernandez. Catherine Naobi Hernandez. Lillian Hernandez. Luis Carlos Hernandez. Maribel Hernandez. Natalie Alondra Hernandez. Natalia Hernandez. Simon Jaziel Hernandez. Tanya Elizabeth Vandera. Luis Fernando Herrera. Phoenix K. Herrera. Vanessa Idali Herrera. Annette Jasmine Olguin Corral. Gabriel Huerta. Destiny M. Yes. Angelica Alessandra Ingo. Emiliano Inagués Salgado. Joaquín Sebastián Inugray. Isabel R. Ivy. Jayla Nicole Jackson. Annie Marlene Jacobs. Gladys Esmeralda Jara. Christopher Adam Jassel. Jaslyn Jenkins. Angel C. Jerónimo. Isis Dianette Jimenez. Cassidy Renee Jimenez. Abriana Rene Johnson. Jasmine Alexandria Johnson. Brianna Jones. Daniela Natalie Juarez. Idalí Luevano. Daniel Rubén Juárez. Zoe Kalman.
Samantha Sky Kincaid. Taylor Genesis Kwok. Paola Landeros. David Lara. Marbella Ledesma. Tiana Maria Lenore. Edgar Lerma. Crystal Lingle. Janet Fernanda Lowe. Jacqueline Loera. Blanca Joanna Lopez. Catalina Lopez. Charlize Justice Lopez. Christopher Lopez. Cristina Lopez. Daniela Lopez. Emilio Cruz Lopez. Jose Mario Lopez Aguilar. Joven Michael Lopez. Nancy Lopez. Sarah L. Lopez Tucci. Christian Gael Loya. Idalith Loya. Jeremiah Loya. Marisa Genteg Loya. Natalia Losayo Frias. Losoya. Losoya Frias. Brenda Rocío Luján. Benjamin James Luna. Leilani Ariana Luna. Nancy Luna. Alexandria Eliza Macias. Heidi Madrigal. Richard Maese. Krishna Mag Magallanes. Frida Marquez. Sí, Lali Marquez Porras. María E. Márquez Salinas. Jocelyn Martínez.
José Rafael Martínez. Juan Carlos Martínez. Nani Ay Martínez. Tania Marisol Méndez. Arturo Ay Robles. Maribel N. Hernández. Noreima Martínez. Daphne Lisbeth Mata. Olivia Marie Mata. Eileen Lorraine Medina. Cyrac Carlos Mejia. Madison Absidy Melhoff. Jacob Javier Mendez. Anaí Mendoza. Anissa Brianna Mendoza. Jesus Abel Mendoza Gonzalez. Guadalupe Mendoza. Heidi Alejandra Mendoza. Karime Mendoza. Leslie Aileen Mendoza. Ruth Mendoza. Christina Aileen Meraz. Caitlin Nicole Mercado. Amory Victoria Mergil. Stephanie Mesa. Lorenzo Minjares II. Brian Anthony Miranda. Isa Monreal. Alondra Monroy. Ray Xavier Arenas Monsis Vais. Karen Jacqueline Montenegro. Sofia Azul Montenegro. Valeria Montenegro. Daniel Eduardo Montes. Ricardo Alberto Montes. Emily Jolene Moore. Aldo Morales. Emma Noemi Morales. Jacob Robert Morales.
Quetzal Morales. Crystal Gabrielle Morales. Gabriela Moreno. Leilani Celeste Moreno. Rodolfo Moreno. Wendy Moreno. Victor Alfredo Mosqueda. Daniela Muñiz. David Alexis Muñoz. Jacob Muñoz. Victor Muñoz. Ella Osama Naga. Anthony Nava. April Eileen Navarrete. Jewel May Navarrete. Iliana Isis Newman. Kira Nalani Noel. Maria Fernanda Nunez Mendoza. Mark Obenen. Rolando Obregón. Elaine Ochoa. Antonio Olguín. Genaro Olivas. Genaro Olivas. Leonardo Olivas. Raquel Berenice Olivas. David Olvera. Isabela Andrea Ontiveros. Brianna Aline Orona. Ruth Leticia Oropesa. Miguel Angel Orozco. Paloma Mia Orozco Mendez. Celeste Gabriel Horta. Jaslyn Ortega. Aaron Manuel Ortiz. April Kateri Ortiz. Victoria Elena Ortiz. Judith E. O'Neill. Alejandro Manuel Padilla. Areli Anaí Padilla. Fernanda Pamela Padilla. Andre P 
Padilla Lopez. Sergio J. Palacios. Marvin Anderson Parker. Audrey Pasillas. Carla Itzel Patino. Osvaldo I. Patino. Emmeline Faith Paulino. James Jax Payan. Omar Emiliano Payan. Sophie Camelia Pirin. Enrique Peña Jr. Erica Marie Peña. Joel Eduardo Peña. Lydia Jocelyn Peña. Michael Ray Peña. Isaac Leo Perales. Leslie Diana Perales. Alondra Eileen Perez. Carlos Alexis Perez. Cynthia Jacqueline Perez. Miriam Jasmine Perez. Evan Allen Picard. Yamil Villado. Isis Nicole Piñones. April Nicole Ponce. Joel David Ponce. Denali Alexis Porras. Gael Ponce. Jennifer Michelle Puente. Christian Punger. Mariana Quesada. Alia Samara Quinones. David Andre Quintana. Ricardo Quintana. Annette Quintero. Emily Maxine Rainwater. Eliza Monique Ramirez. Andrea Ramirez. Iris Soraya Ramirez. Laura C. Ramirez. Sarina Angelina Ramirez. Valerie Ramirez. 
Jeremiah Ramos. Jessica Ramos. Juan Carlos Ramos. Maya Valeria Ramos. Victoria Marie Ramos. Cielo Rentería. Claudia Jasmine Reyes. Eduardo Reyes. Abril Reyes Herrera. Joanne Reyes. Liz Emily Reyes. Shakes the whole thing, huh? Luis Gael Reyes. Paulina Reyes. Victor Manuel Reyes. Brianna Yvonne. Jessica Nicole Rios. Karen Rios Enriquez. Luisa I. Rios Sanchez. Divine Angelina Rivera. Kanitha Denise Roberts. Roberto Joel Robles. Anthony Rodriguez. Crystal Denise Rodriguez. Daviana Rodriguez. Eduardo Rodriguez. Javier Rodriguez. Jennifer Rodriguez. Adam Steven Rojas. Carly Faye Rojas. Joel Rojas Tovar. <laughs> Melissa Vianet Rojero. Estrellita Roman. Jesse Alexandra Romero. Adán Rosales. Isabel Samantha Rubio. Lillian Rubio. Jared Miguel Rudicil. Angel Luis Ruiz.
Alfonso Saenz. Ashley Saenz. Berlin Elaine Salas. Karina Salas. Alan Sanchez. Isabella Amada Sanchez. Jonathan Manuel Sandoval. Angelica Rivera. Carolina Leilani Rivera. Brian Robledo. Christian Jose Rodriguez. Daniel Rodriguez. Areli Rosales. Dier Daniela Salcido. Dante Esteban Salinas. Katia G. Ramirez. Orlando Ruiz. Janelle Marie Sanchez. Norma Yvette Sanchez. Karina Sandoval. Cynthia Santana Hernandez. Michaela Marie Santana. Savannah Irene Salinas. Octavio Sanchez. Zulia Janelle Santos. Areisi Sapien. Kean Michael Sasser. Aleda Shasha Saucedo. Aki Jedediah Savea. Sarai Segovia. Naidali Alexis Sepulveda. Carla Lorraine Servin. Samuel Sigala. Denise Adriana Silva. Avelis Stephanie Silva. Remington Storm Smenner. Joyce M. Smith. Lorena Mariah Smith. Anthony Andrew Soto. Leslie Marianne Soto. Sean 
Lincoln Street. Alexander Jersey Semensky. Stephanie Talamantes. Lauren Alexa Tapia. Rune P. Taylor. Andrea Marie Tellez. Christopher Rashawn Thomas. Oriana Cristina Torrealba. Gretel X. Torres. Leslie Torres Bustillos. Jesus Torres. Juan Jose Torres Jr. Lisandro Joaquin Torres. Moises Eduardo Torres. Pamela Guadalupe Tovar. Rocio Areli Tovar. Jasmine Crystal Trejo. Bianca Alexis Troncoso. Geneva Blanchette Trout. Daryl Turnipseed. Lauren Rose Urias. Dalia Valdez. Gabriel Gerardo Valadez. Samuel Macario Valadez. Dylan Valdez. Elienaí Valdez. Sergio Eyerid Valdez García. Marcos Andrés Valdez. Genesis Alexandra Valenzo. Iris Valencia Valenzuela. Jennifer Sanjazen Valle. Lauren Janae Valtierra. Abigail Valverde. Anissa Marie Vargas. Daisy Vargas. Daniela Isabel Vargas. 
Raymond Vargas. Elijah Vasquez. Jordan Vasquez. Ariadna Vasquez. Jacqueline Vasquez. Karina Vega Rivera. Aram Aiden Vela. Eileen Velasquez. Nadia L. Velasquez. Rachel Isabella Velasquez. Damaris Velasquez. Samuel Vasquez. Tatiana Celines Velasquez. Victoria Villa Gomez. Javier A. Villalba Tidwell. Adrian Villanueva. Brian Villarreal. Denise Villarreal. Itzel Villela. Sheena Viramontes. Zaira Vital. Jennifer Vivanco Mora. Aisha Wade. Esperanza Valdez. Jasmine Washington. Monica L. Washington. <laughs> Alexander Watson. Geneve Celeste Witt. Edward Paul Wilkes. Elvia Janay Yepes. Vielka Idali U. Cerros. Erin Aiden Zamora. Anel Zaragoza. Ivan Angel Zarate. Adrián O. Zavala. Janet Zavala. Destiny Anaí Cepeda.
Zuri Isabella Zubia. This concludes the graduates for the Associate of Arts degree. The following will receive the Associate of Arts in Teaching degree. Heather Nicole Abraham. Itzel Anai Anguiano. Soledad Bueno Gonzalez. Ashley Cavada. Joanna Cárdenas. Melissa Yvette Cárdenas. Nicole Stephanie Chavez. Ashley Damaris Contreras. Laura Stephanie Delgado. Mariana Emiliano. Victoria Emiliano. Brianna Ruby Franco. Cynthia N. Fresca. Giselle Idali Gloria. Cecilia Gonzalez. Catherine Gabriela Gonzalez. Abril Esmeralda Gutierrez. Itzel Ibarra. Rosa Crystal Larson. Yenaira Giovanna Lopez. Cristina Martinez. Carissa Faye Meraz. Andrea Angela Navarro. Bianca Evelyn Nicasio. Efren Refugio Olivares. Leslie M. Rangel. Diana Marlene Rocha. Michael Sanchez. Vivian Alejandra Santillano. Desiree Sky Silva. Maria Alejandra Torres. Esther Umaleava. Danielle Villanueva. Rosario T. Alanis. Hennessy Michelle Zuniga.
This concludes the graduates for the Associate of Arts in Teaching degree. Everyone, please join me in once more congratulating all of the graduates. Please join me in a round of applause for Victoria Garcia and Betsaida Chavez for providing the interpreting for those who are deaf or hard of hearing. Thank you all. And to Ruben Carizales and Erica Portillo for announcing our graduates. It has been said that behind every graduate stands a very proud family. Graduates, your families and all their distinctive variations have been there for you. Let's take a moment to thank them. Queremos reconocer los familiares de nuestros graduados y darles gracias por su apoyo y amor. Could the children, parents, and spouses of the graduates please stand? Por favor, ponerse de pie los hijos, padres, y esposos y esposas de los graduados. Please remain in your seats until all graduates have exited. I invite you to meet your graduates in the parking lot across the street from the tunnel of the Don Haskins Center. Will everyone please rise for the recessional to exit? Congratulations, class of 2022.
Thank you.